Um, hi there. In uh, this video, I am doing another tutorial lesson as um, people seem to like them, so why not make more of them? So, okay. Uh, this tutorial will be about unwrapping or UV mapping any object in uh, Maya. And it will be a pretty extensive um, tutorial, really. I won't unwrap the entire thing, but I'll show you how to, in general, unwrap the object. So, okay. And that object could actually be a character for this purpose in this tutorial. Uh, so let's open up a mold file here. I already have one that I've been working on um, yesterday, just for a few points. Well, that's um, that part of the head. So it's just I've actually hidden the body. Uh, let's see, show geometry, polygon surfaces. There you go. There's the body. <clears throat> there's the thing that we are actually going to unwrap um, and as you can see it's pretty low poly not really that low poly but let me turn off these reference images here not really that low poly but it's not really that high poly either and we are going to unwrap the entire legs the body and the arms and we might do the hands I'll see how well <coughs> how that will become uh, and I'll probably do a hand modeling tutorial later on as well but that will be the job <laughs> Um, uh, although we won't uh, unwrap the feet, as these feet are a bit special, as uh, they are <coughs> actually shoes, mechanical shoes. Uh, so I won't actually go through unwrapping these at the moment. I'm um, just uh, focusing on the uh, organic shape of the model here. Um, and as last time, all of the uh, shelf items here are the same as I had in my last my tutorial. Um, so if you want to know what those are, go check out the tutorial. Uh, the tutorial. Um, so, okay, let's begin here. Uh, first of all, we want to open the uh, UV texture editor, which we do by going to window up here, and the UV texture editor that will open up in a separate window, which I have in a, another win uh, screen right here. So, here it is, and as you can see now, our model is a complete mess if we just move size this down a bit and um, move it here you can see that the model is actually a complete mess and the UVs you won't be able to texture this without getting any extreme stretching and um, just to uh, actually demonstrate or demonstrate sorry um, okay what is UVs? UVs are basically um, Okay, so let's go through it. Um, to texture an object, uh, you will need to unwrap it basically on a 2D texture map so that you can paint the texture on top of it and uh, without any major stretching or any issues like that. Uh, and that's basically what uh, <coughs> the uh, UVs are for. Because uh, if I'll show maybe, well, as you can see here. This is a mess, but if I, if I show you another model here that I made uh, for a guy, <coughs> this is actually the model I made before, and this is actually unwrapped. As you can see here, if we size this up a bit, as you can see, all of the pieces here are laid out in a 2D matter. So there's part of the head there, that's the legs, uh, that's the upper armor body. Uh, and they are laid out so that if you paint texture on top of this, this air will actually come across on this model without um, creating any general stretching. So that's basically what we are um, aiming towards. Although our, our UV map won't be as, uh, as filled with things as this one is, as this one has a lot of armor pieces as you can see here, and uh, uh, these weird eyes feet that are moved texture later on. Okay, so let's open up the um, the file that we are going to work on here. So let's hide that display, show, oh, show geometry, all oh, surfaces, hide this one, hide those two. Okay, so what I like to do first is, um, let me just uh, split this up here. I'll shut this down and I'll make a two viewport. Make this window a, um, a UV texture editor so we can have it in one window here. 
and then I'm making this window, window the uh, perspective view. So now we have the UV texture editor right here and the perspective view here. So what I'd like to do first is let's just size that over. What I'd like to do first is uh, split this up into separate pieces. So for example, I like to split up the arm in one, the hand in one, and the legs in one. And if I were if I were doing the feet, I would do the feet in one. But so let's do that first. It should be easy enough. So let's go into our front view. And first of all, I'm just going to uh, disconnect the feet from here. And let's make sure we have all those. Yes, we do. So when we have the faces selected of the feet, we go up here and we press mesh, and we go to extract. So that will uh, put the, se uh, the selected faces into different groups, as you can see here. That's one group. That's one group. So select both both of those and hit Control H. That will hide them. And just for the record, if you want to show them again, either you can press Control Shift H, which shows last hidden which we hit those last time um, or have them again uh, you can go up to as I did before display show either show all or geometry polygon surfaces as this is a polygon surface so this should actually not cause too much issue here uh, let's see here let's split the legs first so we have to determine where the actual legs are going to end so I would say they are ending right about there, just like these. Uh, let's make sure we have everything we do. So that's basically the legs. So let's go and mesh extract those. So we have one group for the legs, and let's also extract the um, arm here, which isn't that hard. Also, the hand shouldn't be at the moment. Let me just go into perspective view here by panels perspective. Oops, perspective and the selecting the perspective camera. Let's see, make sure I have everything here. Let's see here. Yep, we do. So let's just go to me mesh and then extract. And then let's select the hand. Do the same thing. Mesh extract. And the first part is actually really easy. It's just extracting the part here. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that. Uh, so let's select all pieces of the arm here. Deselect the hand. Let's see what parts do I include. Oh, okay. So we need this as well. We have everything. Uh, let's go again. Mesh extract. Go here. Extract the hand. Okay, so we are pretty much set up now. We have one for the body, uh, one for the separate arms here, and one one for the hands, so and also one for legs. So what I like to do is start off with the body here. So let me just go through the process of actually unwrapping a arm plate here. So first of all, or actually before I go through that, let me just apply a checker texture to this. Uh, that will actually uh, create so that we can we can see how much stretching we have in the mold. So okay, let me go up to window. Rendering editors and Hypershade, which is basically the um, material editor of Maya. Uh, let's zoom out here a little bit, or well, let's keep it this. So, let me create a new Lambert and um, go into its attributes here, which I have in this window. Uh, <coughs> so, to map a checker texture basically on top of this material, you have to go into the color tab here, which is where we are going to map the texture into. And um, press this little checker here as I did, and this window will come up, create render node. And uh, just keep these as normal, uh, well, <coughs> keep these at normal, sorry I'm kind of a horse, horse at the moment. So okay, keep these at normal, and uh, here 